Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. Cubase has had the ability to work with presets for a while now. But let's take a look in 6.5 and look how easy it is to set up for a drum kit. Now, if you're recording your own drums at home, you know how laborious it can be to set up your tracks every time. Uh, but if you've got a kit set up in the room, you can actually make a little template or preset that all you have to do is press a couple buttons and everything gets set up for you. Pretty cool. It's a big time saver. Now they've got some already made similar to that. Let's go up to our media bay and click F5 or left click on media bay. And you can see in the window here, we have a lot of choices. What I've got set up here is what they have called, labeled as drum recording, session with eight microphones. You can also see there's one set up for four. This can be totally customized for your particular drum kit. Now, once it's saved as a preset, all you have to do is left click, double left click there, and I'm closing my media bay. Whoop! And we see nada, nilch. Double click it again, a little faster this time. And there it is. We have our snares, toms, everything we want. And that's the Cubase preset. Now we can customize this to our liking or completely make one from scratch. Now, as you can see, not only is this just the tracks, it's also the effects and the EQ. So that's incredibly convenient in terms of being a time saver. So let's say we wanted to make one of our own. Let's undo that. And let's say we had a number of tracks. Let's just set up a few, for example. We'll, we'll just do four for now. And I used stereo tracks. You may want to use mono for your drums. It's up to you. But this is just for example. We can set our EQs any way we like. Whatever effects we want in there. And let's just put something in there for now. And all we need to do is let's go to our other view here. I'm going to hold down shift while clicking on the bottom channel. This is not limited to four. You can have as many channels as you want. You can set them any way you like. And then I'm going to right click. And you probably can't see this. I'm going to move our point of view just so you really can see it. Once again, I'm right clicking on the bottom channel after I have linked them. And you may be able to see, there we go. Save track preset. Now I'm going to move this just to make sure you really can see it. Save track preset. Now we have the ability to save it so we can recall it every time we need it. And let's just call it drum set up for now. We can also go into some of the attributes here, such as the category, drum and percussion, character, however we like to set that, style, rating, so forth and so on. We click OK. That's all there is to it. Now, every time we want to very, very quickly have all our tracks set up for our drum kit, we would just simply go to Media, Media Bay, find our setup, click it, got it. Double click it fast. Double click it fast. <laughs> I hate that double fast thing. There we go. We got it all. And uh, simple as that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Check out our full-length videos at Recording School Online.